had this scraper in his truck and it's pretty worthless. It's good for one, like two lines. Hey, look how jagged it is. It's the former murder weapon that I found at a camp. Seven. Don't worry. Seven degrees. Casey's, uh, Brian's concealed weapons permit is way better. <laughs> cold morning, guys. But uh, today's a new day. Oh, sorry, stretching out. Fighting a little cold here. Did a little NyQuil last night. Helped me sleep a little bit, but um, we're gonna go check out a new area. Hopefully produce some new results. Had fun hanging out with our buddy last night, Pratt. Killed a rad buck. So we're Googling and oogling over that. But uh, it's Friday and we're gonna go celebrate by finding us a mature buck for Mr. Boardman. Maybe one for myself. Maybe a doobly today, you never know. Thanks for sticking with us. See how this day turns out. Um, one thing to consider folks if you guys ever go hunting late season uh, do not leave your backpack in the truck when it dips down to seven degrees because bad things could happen with what's inside of that backpack let me just give you an example yeah so the wet wipes they're frozen solid as a rock the situation is uh, we are trying to defrost the wet wipes had to turn the truck on let's just hope nothing bad happens between the time of uh, right now and when they become pliable and usable. If you ever find yourself in a cold weather situation, bring the wet wipes inside, otherwise they freeze. So we uh, are turning up a lot of deer. Fortunately so far, it appears that they are all still on private property and um, trying to stay warm while glassing. <clears throat> Lots of moving around, jumping in and out of the truck to try to keep the old fingers from freezing. Just need one of these bucks to make a mistake. And so far, they have been playing the boundary game better than we have been playing it. Anything could happen, so we're just gonna keep on keeping on. See what we can turn up. <laughs> Why you look so cold? It's freezing out there, dude. I got ice on the inside of my window. Oh, it's defrosted now. But I stepped out for like five minutes and my forehead froze. <laughs> Any skin that's exposed will get nuked. <laughs> nuked. <laughs> oh. Logie bears love this right now. Come on, dude, watch what he does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, I don't get it. <laughs> All you gotta do is that. It doesn't matter what hand, but. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Everything. So, all oh, this goes under, but. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> I have no idea. That's actually really good jerky. Guys, this is not a paid sponsor of the channel. But green chili beef jerky made by Old Santa Fe Trail. Not bad. It's like old style jerky, like dried. Like felt like they cut it, seasoned it, and just laid it in the sun. For years. Like they do in Africa. Biltong? Like Biltong. Yeah. So anyways guys, here we are in my truck. We have two and a half days left. Mark Boardman, how you feeling? I think we should show, go shoot a buck. At least try. Yeah. We keep trying. Yeah, that's all we can do is keep trying. Tomorrow we're gonna exert our efforts a little, a little more though, a little harder. I think so. We're gonna go on a big hike. You like that? I think that's a good plan. So we have been just glassing from these little lookouts that we know in this unit, and we've been seeing a ton of deer. The problem is there's a lot of private. About got Mark on a buck yesterday. Just got into the private before we could get him killed. Uh, we'll just keep pushing the, the envelope. We have, a, we have a motto or a phrase here on the Hushin channel. Mm -hmm. It's called time and pressure. Put enough time in and apply enough pressure, good things will happen. Mm -hmm. I think we get in somewhere and spend some time and sit and glass and move a little bit and sit and glass, something good might happen. Should we go make some sandwiches right now though? Probably we might want some snacks. You guys are speaking my language. We'll see you inside. Ben, I want you to turn that camera around and tell us your thoughts and feelings. I like all Asian food. But mostly Japanese food is the best. Is that what we're talking about? I wasn't listening. Why well, is Brian back up like I'm leading? I don't know where we're going. 
you guys, it's just the same old story. Got to put in the hours, got to put in the time, and eventually they'll show up. We've seen a lot of good people take a lot of, well, we don't know if they're good people or not. A lot of people take good deer. <laughs> so we assume that if we keep working hard, keep hunting the same areas that they're hunting, you know, as the rut continues to kick in more and more and more, these big bucks will pull in. So that's what we're doing, is put in the time, put in the effort, and now we're gonna go kill something, so bye. Positive hunting attitude. Positive hunting attitudes need to be had. Not, smiles need to be shared. Jokes passed. We're good. Oh, we got the double video vlog. Brian, you can't decide hey, to that you, see that smile. we need to see you guys smile. So cheap. Hey, puppy. All, the meat All right, guys, we're going out for the evening hunt. We've had a pretty relaxing afternoon. I took a nap for about three hours, I think. Maybe two, maybe four, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna divide. We're just gonna go check some uh, uh, some of our favorite little nooks and crannies and you know, hope to see a shooter buck tonight but if not we'll put a game plan for tomorrow which could be an all-day hunt could be a big hike tomorrow so we're gonna go scout it out and see what's moving around and try not to hit these dogs so here we go you surprised me all right guys I got the uh, big big hitter spotters with me right now we just spotted two super super nice bucks up here there's deer crawling all over that mountain they're on the private right now as per usual but um, Dude, we're super stoked. Got a game plan for tomorrow. We're just gonna maybe try and bracket those deer and go in and hopefully maybe get in a little bit earlier and see if he can make a mistake. So he's moving around, he's checking does, he's going from doe to doe. He's cruising, so he could be anywhere. So maybe he'll be by us. Um, he's he's a babbler buck, that's what we call him. You buck that when you see him, you're like, uh, 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 uh. he's about like that. So pretty much he's bigger than a two by three and that makes him a shooter in my book. Well guys, that's a wrap for the evening glass. We uh, we saw a lot of deer tonight. Some good bucks and a couple that are potentially right on private and public boundary lines that we're gonna have to study on X map when we get back. Kind of make a game plan, but we've got a couple zones we might hit tomorrow. I'm not sure what Casey and Mark and them saw, but there's definitely a, a lot of deer that have seemed to have migrated down that are kind of at that lower elevation, you know, really moving down to their wintering range and, and starting to rut. Like we saw a couple bucks chasing hard. I got some really, really cool phone scope video um, of a buck chasing a doe down in these willows. Uh, not a bad little buck too, but if you guys aren't using, you know, like a phone scope adapter like this, this is what we get. Most of the footage you guys see that we're filming from a long distance in our spotting scopes, it, we're using this phone scope adapter. So that's what I was using on this clip you guys are watching right now. And this buck was just chasing this doe like crazy. She was wanting none of that, but um, they're just a ton of fun to have, even if you're not gonna shoot at, shoot at an animal or go hunt or anything. They're just fun to use for scouting tools and stuff. Really allows us to uh, study our, our shots too, like kill shots and stuff. But yeah, that's it from our group. Me and Brian saw a ton of deer, just no shooters where you can shoot them. Been tough the last couple days. They, uh, <clears throat> the old deer really seem to know where the boundaries are. They are staying right on the opposite side of what we can hunt. But you know, just gotta keep on looking, keep on searching. Might try some new tactics tomorrow. And uh, with any luck, we'll turn up a couple nice bucks still. Maybe the guys got one tonight, wouldn't that be awesome? But if not, like we always say, last day of the hunt is better than the first we still have a couple days to make that last day uh happen but we're going to stay optimistic and this time of year literally any single thing can happen the drop of a hat a big old buck could just show up from nowhere so we saw man i think eric and i saw maybe like five different deer killed today like not actually killed but people gutting packing animals today so uh, it was a good day for a lot of hunters out here. Congratulations to those that tagged out. We'll see what tomorrow brings though. We shall see. Heading back to uh, our little house, cabin house. Go cook up some dinner and then uh, we'll wrap this video up. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Look at this. Dinner's done. What you got tonight? Uh, rosy steaks again. We're getting some veggies and uh, lots of veggies. Uh, here's our veggie medley. Asparagus, peppers, squash, zucchini. Look at that steak. Dang. It's a steak right there. That is a big steak. Everyone should go hunt a rosy because they're amazing. They're giant and the meat is amazing. 
You guys always with the videos, man. What's with the videos? We document it all. Can we ever just eat it in peace without making videos all the time? No. Oh, that splash of balsamic, man. Yeah. That's money. Very tasty. Game Got half and half? I like it. I like What's it your lot. strategy? I'm gonna Slice cut and some dice. Nice steak up. I'm gonna throw it on top of the veggies. Look at these things. Those are some big steaks, man. Well, guys, that's it for another video. Again, saw a bunch of deer today. We'll be back at it tomorrow. B Mac, you got a game plan? We have a game plan. We do? Yeah, we're gonna surround and conquer. We've been <laughs> uh, watching a couple bucks the last few days. They've been skating by, but I think we have a plan. We have a plan B. If that doesn't pan out for the morning, <laughs> gotta stay positive. We got two days left. Anything can happen this time of year. Make sure you guys come back, join us tomorrow. We will uh, be doing the same thing. Hopefully filling some tags. That's it. But thanks again for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're doing daily videos. If this is the first video you randomly found on our channel, uh, make sure you go back and watch the daily videos. It's a good one. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you guys in the morning. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Brian says, I need the model. What's the model, Ben? Show me what to do. Thumb above the eye. Nailed it. <laughs> Dude, I told you guys, I'm not good at math.